Travis Wayne Goodsell. I find it horrific that my people, the Mormons, would demonstrate the most blatant disrespect and disregard for the founder, Joseph Smith. It makes no sense to me. And you're saying, well, no, Travis. Joseph Smith is our founder. He, he's our prophet. You lie. No, I don't. You believe the hearsay accusations by those accusing Joseph Smith of polygamy, for example. You believe those who say he's not a translator of Hebrew and Egyptian. And so on and so on. If Nelson, well, not Nelson, if you go to a Mormon's home, somebody you know and trust, and you found that they now had two extra wives. And he told you, well, President Russell M. Nelson sealed us. He approved us. But you got to keep it a secret because the government will not grant us religious freedom yet. But the millennium is coming and Nelson's preparing us. So keep it a secret. Don't tell anybody. Would you believe him? Would you believe that Nelson is secretly having Mormons practice polygamy in preparation for the millennium? He could justify it and say, well, Nelson changed the law of chastity. So it now allows for polygamy. And we do it through the temple we just don't give the the uh, license to the state so technically we're not violating the law and other kinds of excuses to justify it this is what Mormons are doing with Joseph believing the accusers of hearsay. Orange White, for example. That's where I got the story from. I just found out the other day. He went to the Higbees. Brother Higbee said these two extra wives were granted by Joseph Smith. But it's a secret. Don't tell anybody. Right there. By Orange White. Son of Lyman White. Couldn't believe it. And literally, I couldn't believe it. It again showed how Joseph Smith is innocent. He was being framed so that others in the church, the Danites, could overthrow it. Claim Joseph was in charge of it all to deceive the Mormons who came across what they were doing. And so, yeah, they were able to deceive and, and threaten to uh, compromise people to do their bidding. As a video I did the other day on uh, W.W. W. Phelps, he was a faithful believer in Joseph, but then the Danites got him. They flipped him. And he ended up betraying Joseph Smith. It's also disturbing that Mormons, by not having a sound foundation, a solid foundation to make sound arguments, to reason properly, 
think that they are justified in using fallacy arguments to defend the church. That kind of a thing is a, shows a lack of intelligence, a lack of knowledge on the subject. You know, when critics of the church say, well, no, that is incorrect church history, or this is, in, this is correct church history. There's no evil intent behind that. People found evidence. People exposed what was wrong, like I did yesterday. The Journal of Discourses says that Joseph Smith said something on the 2nd of June, 1839. And the Mormon did a video on it. And he's got 5,000 views, last I saw. So 5,000 Mormons are believing him because he shows right from the website, from the Journal of Discourses. So it must be true. And I did the video. And I went to the Joseph Smith papers. And it can't be true. Not only can't it be true, it's a blatant lie on the surface. Because that date, it says, was Tuesday. The date was Sunday that year. But nobody's checking this. I saw the video yesterday, decided to fact check it and instantly found it was a fraud. Joseph did not say that. And yet Mormons are unhappy. They've put their thumbs down already. Lo nobody wants to watch the video even. Just a few people. Nobody wants to learn the truth. Everybody wants shock value. You know, they want to hear about the, the billionaire Mormon who says the church causes harm and wants his tithing back, but is not getting arrested as a terrorist like the other Mormon in Las Vegas, whose life is now destroyed because somebody accused him. It even is suspicious enough from the news report that somebody made a prank call claiming to be him. And that the police, in their torture interrogation, which is a violation of the Miranda rights, got him to confess to other things to justify their lies about him. And he confessed. So there is no trial. He does not go before a jury of his peers. And if he dares <laughs> to plead not guilty, they've got his witness testimony, his own testimony against himself through torture. A life ruined because of the church and its corruption. But for Mormons to respond to critics by saying, you're stupid, you're lying, you're anti-Mormon, that doesn't convince us you're right. So, for example, Joseph Smith was arrested as a glass looker on 20th of March, 1826. Primary source document comes from the court. It's a fact. And so why would you claim that, oh, well, it's not confirmed. Citation is needed, see? 
Wikipedia says there's a citation needed. No author has come forward for a reference. All they have to do is put in the picture. It's all over the internet. And it doesn't make sense why Mormons would betray Joseph. And yes, it is a betrayal. Because he did. That's real church history. And Mormons are wanting to cover up and lie about church history. You shouldn't be afraid. Because now read over the first vision. Now, disregard about Jesus and Constantine. Focus on after, when he talks to the Methodist. See, ex-Mormons should be going, oh, oh yeah, oh, right. Because he attended the Methodists, and they said, no, because you were arrested, get out. <laughs> yeah. Ex-Mormons can figure this stuff out if they just think put the pieces together but Mormons continue to live in delusional land literally you are not interested in the truth and you complain you get angry you get violent you become the enemy you become anti-Mormon another thing that ex-Mormons don't put the pieces together and go oh whoa that's what he was doing and it wasn't Joseph because Cindy Rigdon is the major author and I've exposed how Senior is the one who rewrote the 116 pages from Junior so now go back to section 3 and section 10 are you sure it's the Lord or the Lord of the manor They knew Sidney Rigdon. But the Book of Mormon was used by Brigham Young to justify his racism, to take away priesthood from blacks. Because he would quote from the Book of Mormon. And ex Mormons are outraged with the Book of Mormon as a racially profile, a racially incitive violence, book of hatred, whatever. Go back and reread the story. Laman and Lemuel were Jewish and white. Which group of racially charged ethnicity hate blacks? Whites. What happens to Laman and Lemuel? They're murderers, they're thieves, they're adulterers, and, uh, let's see, liars. So when Nephi leaves, they're left to themselves. The righteous has left them to themselves. Then they turn black. White Jews turn black. What is the greatest phobia of white supremacy? <laughs> Turning black. Being Jews. It 
it's it's hilarious to read now and yet sad at the same time because it's not a racially charged book it's a condemnation of white supremacy so selections from the book of Moses again coded to condemn white supremacy book of Abraham doesn't even say it in Abraham it's in Moses so with Abraham there's some actual accurate historical stuff in there which surprises me because I didn't think that stuff had come out that early I was aware of Ammon so they knew about Ammon I mean Isaiah already had it also but there's some other stuff but to know uh, some of the other stuff that they claim in there Canaanite blood wow that was just the other year when DNA scientists confirmed yeah DNA from Canaanites Zawi Hawass was furious demanded that the scientists cover it up and change it <laughs> He was on an anti-science rampage. <laughs> Showing his racism. Science is not racist. People are when they demand science change to fit their narrative. Sort of like the Big Bang to fit the narrative of in the beginning. Creatio ex nihilo. As a Catholic priest, not Hubble. Hubble got the credit. And so if you're unfamiliar, the church owns and operates the whole state of Utah. Even the federal government. There have been too many confirmations that now establish it as fact that the United States of America is owned and operated by the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. I can't get the federal government to prosecute the church. They go after everyone else, but not the church. They leave the church alone. And they're the biggest criminals, and the government won't take them down. They're then therefore compromised, just like our federal judges here in Utah. Wadups was supposed to recuse himself. He didn't. He refused to recuse himself. As a result, he denied my First Amendment right to petition the government for a redress of grievances. It's supposed to go to trial. That's how a petition is filed. It's not just, oh, here's my filing it gets stamped by the clerks but then rejected by the judges no it has to go to trial to count I have to be able to present evidence I was denied see the church just said nope dismiss it with prejudice and the judges who are Mormon know exactly what that means Otherwise, they lose their job, just like Magistrate Justice First did. She lost her job because she allowed a case against the church to proceed. But now, Chief Justice... Uh, I can't remember his name. The Chief Justice for the Utah Federal Courts is over Gaddy versus COP. He's giving her hope by stringing her along. But in the end... He'll, he'll refuse because even though he's ex-Mormon he's still compromised that's how he's in the chief judge chair if he was anti-Mormon yeah he would never he would be gone as a judge he's in his job 
because he's compromised to the church. Too many facts, or too many confirmations establishing the fact. The church owns America and runs it. We are fascist. And because they haven't come right out and made it openly public, it gives people hope that they can change the church, that they can get justice, that they can have freedom and their rights to life, liberty, and property. And we don't. That's the con. They learned this technique to give false hope from World War II's Nazi Germany concentration camps where the Jews were housed. The Jews came out of that experience and said, how did you survive? And they replied, I mentally had hope. And the enemy said, aha, if we give people the impression that there is hope, we can destroy their lives, and torture them, take away their rights. So Gaddy, you know, Kay Burningham, she's being dragged out in the courts. They're giving her a false sense of hope. She's getting paid regardless. But, uh, you know, our government, you see it. We're constantly given threats that, oh no, Trump. And for MAGA, oh no, deep state Dems. Both sides are given the fear of the other. And both have the hope. Yeah, Trump in 2024. Yeah. But it's the fear to the deep state Dems. So right now, Biden is the hope. But it's the fear of MAGA. Do you see how they're using the false dichotomy fallacy to string us all along? There's the thing. Oh, who might get $8,000 for stimulus? See if you apply. So you see if you qualify. I don't qualify. I'm not even going to follow that nonsense. They're all just stringing us along. You know, the, you get the people saying, oh no. We're going to be in martial law. We're going to be indoctrinated. We're going to be in concentration camps and at Walmart. It's already there. They use the Walmarts at the southern border for the locking up of the overflow. And they built tent cities. When I heard that Walmarts were being used, I went, oh, man. Because that was some of the fear tactics years before, during Obama. That it was Obama that was going to do all this. And it was Trump. And so when you guys hear about people wanting their tithing back. I hope you too are sending a letter to the church to get your tithing back. If you want their address, you can Google search it. It's available online for anybody to see. North Temple, Salt Lake City, Utah, 84150, and you can address it to Nelson if you want, but it goes to a central mailing place where they check for anthrax and 
and terrorist threats. But, uh, yeah, flood them. I don't get enough people, so it won't really work. YouTube censors me. I have the one breakout video about the whistle, or the, not the whistleblower, uh, the uh, billionaire, ex-brother Green. But uh, I, other videos just aren't getting anywhere. But seriously, flood the church. I want my tithing back. Give me my tithing back. And if you want to have knowledge on the subject matter as to why, say you do not want your money being given to our enemy nations. And if you're MAGA, it's China. If you're Deep State Dems, it's Russia. They're giving it to both. They're playing both sides. And they're using our tithing money against us. The church is funding terrorism. Literally. When Nelson gets up at conference and announces a temple, where does the temple come from? They purchase the land from where? Tithing. So a major city yet to be determined in Russia, they gave it to Putin. Putin approved it. And what's Putin doing with it? He approves the hacks. The ransomware attacks. The cyber terrorism. The shutting down of our power grid. He has to pay people to do that. And it's done with your tithing. Because the church made a deal with them. Gave them money from tithing. And so if you're MAGA, Shanghai! Yeah, not only did he get your tech or your tithing to China, but he conned Americans out of their taxes. Because America bought their initial PPE from China. But Jared confiscated it all under the orders of Trump. <laughs> Remember? <laughs> Even Utah's supply was confiscated at the airport by Jared. It goes to Jared. <laughs> the church is the biggest con artist in the world. And we are in fascism. But they deceive us into thinking we have a hope that America will stand strong. That's why there is no justice in America. That's why blacks are getting shot in the back when they're unarmed with their families and their kids. We are in neo-Nazi Germany in America. But they want to give you hope. A false hope. We are in a civil war. We are in a world war. But they want to give us hope. A false hope. So again, why do you want to dismiss Joseph Smith? Joseph Smith warned us of all this in the Book of Mormon. He gave us the time frame. And Mormons don't care. They want to be fascist. They want the church of the devil. They just want to call it something else. The church of Jesus. That's not even our God. Because again, Constantine. It's in the first vision. The Nicene Council. Nicene Creed. Jesus, which was apocalyptic literature, was turned into historical documents. And the church did that with Joseph Smith. It was apocalyptic literature. And 
the church turned it into an actual history. And now historians are going, this isn't real. This didn't happen. This is inf incorrect information. Yeah, no duh. Same with the Bible. Yeah, no duh. It's not a history. <coughs> but apparently, those in charge are able to deceive people. And why? And people are dumb enough to follow them and believe it. And be turned into weapons by them. Because Mormons being incited to hate and violence against those of us who say uh, no this is the truth have been incited by the prophets to be the enemies of mankind you become like a sociopath psychopath you become like Laman and Lemuel Isn't it hilarious that Mormons, for the most part, who are doing this, are white supremacists? And they're like Laman and Lemuel. And boy, does it infuriate them when you tell them. Because they project on Mormons as one of their abusive attacks to counter, uh, no, that is not true, this is the truth. They use the word Korahor. That was in the news. <laughs> and the news didn't understand it, and so they didn't put in the word. <laughs> I read over it, and I told you, yeah, that's what it is. Korahor. <sighs> and so how do we have hope? We need a rebellion force. Star Wars, obviously. But the Empire will crush it. Just like they did Black Lives Matter Utah. They protested along with the nation. And just like with the nation, Utah's got squashed. They were labeled as terrorists. And they were further brutalized by the police. To silence the voices to perpetuate the abuse. You have no rights. No right to life, liberty, or property. You cannot sue the church. You will be deemed a terrorist if you dare go up against the church. You will be destroyed if you go up against the church. When will ex-Mormons learn? You have all these different groups and they're not working. It took a billionaire to get the news out to the world but still he's not following up on it. This is his moment to destroy the church. He said they cause harm and he's not replying to the news. The news want to know more about this, and he's not doing it. He's failing us, just like James Huntsman did by calling tithing a donation. Dear God. It's just going to allow the church to continue to do what they're doing. And his letter will eventually die out and people will forget as the church continues to run everything. But yeah, the church isn't going to change. They're just going to put off the hope, the false hope, that they're working on not being racist anymore, that they're working on not being sexist anymore, that they're working on not being bigoted anymore, that they're working on taking care of the poor. No, none of that. 
if you have to work on it and you're in direct communication with Jesus you're saying Jesus allows it because it wasn't Jesus who finally came to President Kimball and said give blacks the priesthood now their time is over uh uh if Jesus gave it to Joseph to give blacks the priesthood Jesus didn't give it to Brigham to stop it Brigham's a racist plain and simple he's a murderer he's a liar he's a thief he's an adulterer he's a white supremacist He was not listening to Jesus. He was not listening to any other God other than the one who encourages such things. Lucifer. And he uses the sign of Lucifer. And it's blatant, and it's obvious, and Mormons reject it. Nope, it's not true. Nope, not there. had my wedding photos guys it's there my Relief Society president took the photos and told us I made sure to get the whole door in because other people usually don't get the whole door in I made sure to get the whole door in oh okay oh hey the keystone has something carved in stone on it so yeah I never knew before until and so yeah it's just what's it gonna take Mormons for you to be good because you're not you're acting just like the great and abominable church you're proving our point that you guys aren't good, that you're deceived, that you're lying, murdering, stealing, committing adultery, and raping. You guys are proving it. You guys are proving that you're the criminals. As you think you're proving otherwise by being criminal. It's not Jesus. Jesus does not give you permission. Just like Nelson is not giving anybody permission for polygamy in secret. At least that I know of. <laughs> but Joseph didn't. So just, I, I, I'd say cut it out, but none of you are listening <laughs> at this point. You've all given up. You've put your thumbs down in anger, proving my point again. You guys literally are pathetic. And you won't change. And it's leading to destruction. And I can't get you to stop to save your lives. You don't want to be saved. <sighs> Defending the church is more important than being a good person to you. That's sad.